It's a classic setup. The dastardly villain ties the damsel in distress and leaves her on the train track for an old timey steam train to run her down. Our hero needs to ride in valiantly on his horse and cut her out of the rope just in the nick of time. It's such a classic and well known trope, it's about commonly used it was back in the old western silent movie days, as the big dramatic ending. It was just such a weird, eye catching, over the top, cartoony way of killing someone. Doable only by a moustache twirling, top hatted villain. It's been around for more than 150 years now, and it's still parodied in modern culture today. But this trope has a weirdly complicated history. I mean, try and think about any times you've seen it done completely seriously. See, it was never really intended to be a serious threat, even in those old silent films. It was played for laughs all the way back then, and played around with a lot. It was mainly a joke on the theatre productions that were doing it way back in 1867, because it was such a common staple on the stage, starting with a short story called Captain Tom Flight. Much like the good old cement shoe, this served as inspiration for some strange, and at the time, fairly culturally aware murderers. Between 1874 and 1910, Six real people in real life were actually tied to railroad track and left to die in the United States alone. I know killers usually aren't mentally stable people in their right mind, but it's quite frankly insane that they would do this and take inspiration from TV and film to create the most camp killing ever. There's also a few isolated incidents that actually have some more details to them. In 1931, a black civil rights activist called Earl Little was killed in what was officially ruled as a tram accident. But it's also likely that a racist group had been harassing him and actually tied him and left him in front of that tram. Earl Little was the father of Malcolm X. It's mental to think that one of America's most prominent civil rights figures was motivated by what was usually only a cartoon villain plot. There's also another example, as recent as 2017 in France. A husband had tied up his wife to the train tracks on her birthday and ended himself at the same time. Then less than a year later, an ad campaign used posters that look like this to try and get high speed trains in a different area. They had a caption attached which translated to, with high speed trains she would have suffered less. What the fuck is going on in France? If today's history lesson has taught anyone anything, it should be the French are absolute nothing. 